What sucks about this is that my hair actually looks good. Like it looks good. But it don't feel good. channel it's love always indoors and to those of you who are new welcome so as you saw by the title of this video I experienced my first dry wash and go when I say dry I don't mean that I had dry hair and I styled a wash and go I mean that my hair literally felt like the Sahara Desert dry and it looked great that's the crazy part it looked really good but it didn't feel right so that's why it's so important when it comes to wash and goes to go by the feel not just by how it looks so I had to redo my hair after only two days I was so disappointed because it was the shingling method that I had done so as you know it took me a really long time to achieve and it was bomb and it was beautiful but the dryness was just not worth it for me because you know dryness leads to breakage anyway I redid my hair so if you want to see how I achieve this look then just keep on watching this is my first time experiencing that wash and go faux pas that everybody eventually experiences if you experiment with your wash and goes, which is a failed wash and go. So let me just explain to you what happened. So I, I don't even know where to start. I've been doing wash and goes on my hair every single week since August 5th. So I'm officially two months into my wash and go journey where I'm literally just trying to see how I can grow my hair with a low manipulation hairstyle while also getting a chance to see and enjoy my hair. And I've learned so much about my hair over the past couple of months. I actually did the shingling method on my hair the other day and I achieved this wash and go. And I don't feel like it looks bad. In fact, it's super defined. I mean, I just came from a run. So right now my roots are wet and puffy. Um, and I know my hair is gonna shrink up. It's a little misshapen. But last night my hair felt dry like squeaky type of dry this is not what i need my hair to feel like on day two okay today's monday i did my hair on saturday i should not be feeling like my hair is already on the precipice of dry anyway i can tell you exactly where i went wrong okay i went wrong with my leave-in I use the Curl Essence line, okay? In fact, I was sitting in this very chair just a few weeks ago reviewing the Curl Essence line, okay? And I was pretty happy with the products. You know, I, I, I felt like the shampoo did pretty good. The conditioner was really foamy, but it was all right. You know, as long as I was using my detangling brush, the leave-in, um, it was stringy. Like, like, I'll show it to you. The leave-in is stringy. You see those strings hanging on? Do you see those strings? Like everything, look. Everything is stringy about this leave-in. So when I pull it from the container, from the jar to my hair, I was leaving strings on the counter. But beyond that, I felt like it did a good job. If it's not holding me down for a week, then it's a fail. It's just a fail. I'm going to co-wash with the Gold Series, Trusty Dusty Gold Series Deep Hydrating Co-Wash. I don't really use this product very often. The only time I use it is if I have to wash my hair in less than seven days time, which coincidentally is now. So I'm gonna use this. And then I'm going to use the Aussie Moist Three Minute Miracle to uh, as my leave-in and I'm gonna detangle with this in my hair. Anyway, gonna wash, condition, and then I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm back. I just showered, washed my hair. This is a shower thought. Okay, I'm in the shower, I'm washing my hair, and I'm realizing. I'm looking at all these girls on YouTube, my inspirations with really long, thick, beautiful, healthy, natural hair, right? And I'm realizing now why they use the word slay, why they say I'm about to slay this wash and go, I'm about to slay this hair, or they slayed that bun. It's because if you actually look and watch these girls do their hair, like the final product is beautiful. But when you're watching the process, I just be looking and I'm like, that is a lot of hair. That is a lot of hair and it is thick and it is long and it is intimidating. And these girls handle it like it's nothing, like they're not intimidated by it. It's like they're slaying a dragon. And that's why, for me, that's why slaying is such a powerful word. But one day I hope that that's gonna be me. But I would have worked my way up to it. My hair and I would have grown together. It would have been small and subtle. Next thing I know I'll have a big huge mane that I'm slaying that might look intimidating to someone else. You know what I mean? Anyway, spray bottle full of water. I'm about to use this for the first time ever. This is the Divine Strength Leave-In Cream 
by Carol's Daughter. It's the Goddess Strength one. And I'm gonna be using Wet Line. Just so y'all know, I'm behind. I'm behind the game on Wet Line. I am late to the party. I am probably the only natural out there who's just now getting in the Wet Line. First of all, I did not know this freaking huge thing is $2.99. y'all watch me slay this wash and go and I'm gonna watch a little Netflix key at this point is to stop touching it once you get it how you want it so you can see there's still a few pieces I'm trying to get straightened out I've got um the lightest color in my hair is on my very very tips I don't know if you can see it's almost platinum -y. Is up, but I'm going to show you the 360. Okay, so I'm going to dry my hair, and then I'm going to come back um, and let you see the final result. Ugh, stop touching, Sinitra. Okay, final result. All right, so I'm back. This is what my hair looks like. It is 100% dry. Um, I did a lot of blow drying. I did a tiny bit of air drying just in between because I got tired, okay, and I needed to eat. But for the most part, this is diffused hair. So I'm just gonna spin around so you can get a 360 degree view of what my hair is looking like. Um, it feels moisturized. It just feels crunchy because there's a cast on it. So I will be getting the cast out and doing my fluffing picking regimen and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I froofed the fro. This is what things are looking like now. Um, it almost looks exactly the same as it did when I did the shingling method. Um, I, I know my hair so I can tell that it's different but it looks very, very similar. So I'm just gonna come up closer and then I'm gonna give you a 360. Ooh. Can you see? There we go, so 360 view of the hair. Um, I used the Curl Essence Moisturizing Cocktail, Moisturizing Oil Cocktail to um, seal it and help me get the crunch out of it. And then I used my Pattern Beauty Pick, which I love because look how long it is. And I have gone through so many picks. I actually used to break metal picks. The plastic part that holds the metal prongs used to break and then all the metal prongs would fall out into my hair and onto the floor. And it was always a hot mess. So I'm happy to finally have a pick that I really, really like and that gets the job done. So I picked in all directions, which I recently learned is a thing. I did not know that. I flip my head, flip my head, flip my head, pretty much pick and pick and pick and pick until I get the desired look. So this is the desired look. I feel like it's big and beautiful. Okay, <laughs> it's not big. 
big y'all I don't have a lot of hair I don't have very long hair right now but it is bigger than it was if you saw the before then you know how I was looking when it was dry but not fluffed so now that it's fluffed and good to go I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the week I think that that leave-in in its defense I don't think that leave-in was a bad leave-in on its own but I don't feel like it pairs well with gels because gels are drying gels don't have moisturizing properties to them even if they say there's olive oil and coconut oil and stuff like that you really need to rely on your leave-in for moisture base and so my leave-in just didn't have what it takes to get me through the week but that's okay because we fixed it and we're gonna make it to next Saturday and I learned from this I definitely did so thank you so much for watching please comment below if you have any questions um, click the like button if you haven't already please subscribe and also click on that notification bell so you can see about my future uploads see you next time thanks bye, bye.